a friend of mine turned up today with his atomic which uh, apparently blew the steam knob across the room and he was thinking that the threads here were knackered but in actual fact it just needs a new steam knob I have put uh, we cut the threads there but they didn't really need it and this is possibly the dirtiest atomic I've ever come across not this dirt here but when I turned it upside down to inspect it a whole load of sediment <laughs> fell out so he's obviously never cleaned it and um, the problem is this used to be a very valuable atomic actually it used to have a very rare life wear badge on it I seem to remember selling this atomic to him many years ago Anyway, the reason for um, doing this video is I wanted to get the top seal out, and you can see here that one of the screw heads is mi I'm sorry, one of the screw heads is missing, which is very common, and the other one is um, is is impossible to get out. Basically, I'm going to try just getting a very small whoops, a small bit of a hacksaw blade, and just seeing if I can cut down through there um, to make the sort of head easier to get out. Failing that, I'm going to grind that out with a carbide burr um, just so I can get this head off because it's going to be completely gunked up with stuff and even if you lose these two screws, not lose the screws but you shear them both off, it won't make any difference to the coffee because it's actually the, the rubber seal inside which um, holds that in, not the screws. Um, so it doesn't matter if you've got screws in there or not, it will not affect your coffee. Here's a brand new seal and you'll be able to see the thickness there. They also asked me what gauge the screws are and once again I thought I had some spare ones but I don't, I don't know. But if you need any parts for your Atomic, all parts, all genuine parts are available from Bond Trading from their website and it's an Australian company, the only place in the world you can get genuine atomic parts strangely enough. Um, but I don't know, there should be machine screws in there. I will at some stage post a video on how to actually get these broken off screws out of there. It's quite involved but at some stage when I get around to it I will post a video doing that. But meanwhile let's see if we can get that screw out and see what's underneath that. I finally managed to get this plate off and it is pretty manky. Um, we have to grind the top of that screw off just using a, a carbide burr on the end of a drill bit. You can get a set of these things from eBay for about six pounds. And I'm hoping you can get a mole, set of mole grips on there to actually try and twist that out. Um, but now we can set about cleaning this atomic, putting a new seal in and getting it back to making good coffee again. Your atomic, if you're lucky enough to have an atomic where the two screws do come out, then my advice would every, be take them out every few months, put a drop of oil on them, put them back in, clean the face plate, and that'll ensure that they keep coming out. Um, once the heads have snapped off like that, it's very difficult to get them out. You need a specialized drill bit, etc. cetera. Um, so just regularly take the screws out, take the face plate out, label with an abrasive sponge or anything like that. In fact, don't bother cleaning it at all would be my advice. You risk doing that, rubbing it off. Every time you make a cup of coffee, just use the abrasive end of a sponge to wipe the milk steam on. And of course, you don't have to do this, it won't affect the taste of your coffee, but just give the machine a rub down every now and again and clean it. If you don't clean the, um, the plate up there what it'll do is just taint your coffee basically apart from the fact it'll affect the flow eventually it'll also just taint the taste of your coffee so um just, just to put a bit of water in there and give it a good shake around every now and again and empty it out we're just gonna we've done that a few times already with this machine we're just gonna do it again and see if it's now pretty much clean Okay, that's pretty much clean. There's not much sediment coming out of there, so we're now going to just run a coffee through that um, and see what it, it's like now. New seal just basically presses in with a small screwdriver. Just go around the machine and clip it all the way in, all the way around, and then put the group handle in to lock it in, tighten it up, and that'll lock the ceiling. Put some coffee in it and see how it performs. Turning factors of how good your coffee is from the Atomic is the grind that you use. If you're not some kind of coffee expert, to start off with La Pazza Rosa, to get the grind right, it's about exactly the right grind and then if that works for you and you get um, to the stage where you can make a really good coffee with that then you can go along to roasters and try and 
um, get your own coffee brand, <clears throat> make sure that they get the right grind. If the grind is too coarse, the water will go through too quickly on the atomic. If the grind is too fine, the atomic won't have enough pressure to actually force the water through. Um, the other main determining feature, must remember to put the jug on there, I've done that a few times, um, is the heat source. The hotter the heat source, the better the coffee if you're camping with your atomic and you're using those single cylinder um, gas aerosols when they get to about a quarter full there's no longer enough gas pressure to give a really hot heat source so you'll find that it's difficult to steam the milk and we're going to just see what comes out of this machine. The coffee to come through you've basically got two or three different sizes of steaming jugs this is the one we use for two cups of coffee and this is the one we use for a single cup of coffee and the level of milk depending on how milky you like your coffee would come just to below the spout and when you're steaming the milk it will expand to almost twice the volume so i'm just going to do a single coffee now um, in this small jug here it's almost impossible to get good milk if you're trying to froth the milk in a cup so do invest and get yourself a proper steaming it jug determines how good you can steam your milk is what milk you're using um, organic, this is Brut and Dairy Organic Milk, never had that before, we'll see how that steams. Um, Yo Valley is brilliant for steaming, um, the full cream uh, organic milks from the supermarkets are really good. If you're a veggie, um, Bon Soy do one of the best um, soy milks that you can get, really good for steaming. We're going to see how good this milk is for steaming. The best investments we made was getting a boiling water tap. Use filtered water tap to put filtered water into the atomic, stops it scaling up quite quickly. And then boiling water in the mugs um, before you make the coffee just to warm them up. Perfectly in a nice little rat tail of coffee. There's no leaks here from here or here anymore. Um, we'll just see what kind of steam pressure we get from this machine. And if your coffee machine starts changing and you get that gurgling, you'll start to get sort of no longer dark coffee coming out. Just open the steam on quickly, let out any wet steam. And you should be ready to steam out all of this, but when you're steaming using a jug, when the bottom gets just about too hot to touch, is when your milk is ready. Don't over boil milk coffee. I'm not gonna have enough milk to do two cups. Ah, almost. It's <laughs> much harder doing that one-handed. Latte hard. Not gonna win any um Taste awards that just tastes slightly burnt. I've overheated the milk slightly, and the coffee is just slightly over extracted. But basically, every machine is different. The amount of water you put in every machine is going to be slightly different, and sometimes it will take you two or three goes to um, to get, get the right quantity. When you finish making the coffee, which I forgot to do on this machine, always open the steam vent, clears the milk nozzles out, and do one thing that my darling wife never does is empty out the old coffee jugs and just put a little bit of water in the jug. It makes it so much easier to use the next day.